Okay, it's recording. All right. You would think season two, I'd have an upgraded something, but nothing's upgraded. <laughs> <laughs> You know, usually it's a different season. Oh, they have new hair or whatever. <laughs> oh, whatever. Man. It's quarantine. Who cares? <laughs> but you should maybe you should add like uh, something to that mannequin behind you. I know. Can I at least put a shirt? On there? It's not anything. Anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> to upgrade it. All right. Anyway. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let me drink a little bit. <laughs> mm. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. This is Susan Wolf. Hi, Susan. Hey, Liz. Hi, cheers. I have my oh. wine here. Cheers. Well, uh -huh. yes, I, 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 I'm a human being and I'm a health, comedic health and wellness coach. Okay. So, yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm so torn. I, this is my, my, <laughs> my comedian speaking and <laughs> this is my health and wellness uh coach speaking here and you know what i think i might just stick to water for a while and okay we'll okay. see what happens yeah, since we'll we're doing happens. we're doing health we're all, and wellness. we're human we're all we're, we're human. all human we we're got, we got. Human. And I'm all right so for cheers that. to the yes, water cheers. okay yes all right so mm. i already talked about you a little bit in my intro so Tell it. So Susan is going to be my health and wellness coach for the next 10 weeks for the whole season two. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became the uh, comedic health and wellness coach. Uh, well, great question. Great <laughs> question. Um, you know, I, when I was, I was always funny, uh -huh. True. always funny. Uh -huh. And I was always, into health and wellness when I was a kid uh -huh. uh, because I came from a very athletic family. Okay. But no one really got me ready for puberty when the body changes and you gain weight. And that's when things started to hit the fan, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and it, 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 I, and that's why I had some body image issues, right? Like I really started to kind of look at myself in the mirror or actually avoid looking at myself in the <laughs> mirror and just hating my, you know, certain parts of my body. Uh -huh. And so I struggled with weight gain mm. big time and emotionally and physically. And, um, I always equated weight loss to that. I'm light and people want to be with me and, uh, I'm popular and, uh, and that I am good. Mm -hmm. And then when I gained weight, I was like, I felt like I didn't belong. I was kind of outcast. I, um, you know, like I did something wrong and I would beat myself up for it. And, um, uh, you know, that was kind of like the emotional and the physical roller coaster of, of weight loss. It's you're either good because you've lost weight or you're bad because you've gained weight. And, uh, and it's, it was the same with food. You know, you're bad if you eat pizza, but you're good if you have broccoli, you know? Mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. And I just never really knew how to, I could lose weight. I have lost, I have lost probably a thousand pounds over the course of my, my, my diet life. All right. You know, <laughs> you imagine it's like you lose weight, you feel great. Next thing you know, you're like gaining it all back because you just yeah. never knew how to, how to maintain that loss. It was always mm. a struggle. I could eat dinner and be like, damn, what's the snack for afterwards, you know? <laughs> so, right. you know, constantly thinking about food and what it meant to me. It meant belonging and love and, and safety and security. And so if I was feeling frustrated in life, whatever the emotion was, I'd run, to, I'd run into the arms of food. That's what I would do. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it wasn't until... I'm going to say about three, four years ago, when I became a coach, I started having a, some paradigm shifts, uh, different perspectives on the same thing, but my results started changing. And, um, you know, I, I, I have to say, and I'll say, the, I'll say this, I can eat whatever I want and as much of it as I want. Mm. And I know some people are like, hey, put me on that diet, mm -hmm. right? But it's not what you think. 
Right. I've changed my, my relationship with food has changed, right? So, you know, I don't want to eat the whole sleeve of Oreos like I used to. <laughs> right. I don't want to just shovel mounds of M&Ms in my mouth like I used to. Mm-hmm. That stuff just doesn't make me feel good. So bottom line is, um, you know, I uh, kind of experienced all of that and became a health and wellness coach, became a comedian also almost around the same time. I nice. gave, it was like having twins. Nice. Right? Like I gave, I gave birth though. The, the, the first child to come out was the uh, health and wellness coach. <laughs> right? and, then, uh, I started, you know, and I did some work on myself physically, <laughs> emotionally. And then I was like ready to, you know, let's try a little, bu- a little of that stand up stuff. Right, so, right, you know, right. I did, so I, tr- I, I did that. And uh, so now they're kind of both grooving, grooving together. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's been, it's been fun and it's, it's, uh, it's been great. It really has been pretty Aww. awesome. Yeah, yeah. So if you see me going like this or whatever, it's because I'm taking notes. I'm not like texting somebody on the side. But okay, so I wanted to ask you, you said that you, you um, equated losing weight and being thin to being liked. That's yeah. what you said, right? That's what I said. So your whole life. So how much, how many, how much weight did you lose for real, for real when you finally lost the weight? Yeah. So um, only, not only, but 40 pounds. Okay. So, and 40, and, 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 and prior to losing the weight through my entire life, certain people at certain times would say to me, you're not fat, you're tall, you got big bones. <laughs> uh-huh. you have no idea. I almost became a serial killer at that time. Like, I, I don't say, you know, like, oh my. I hated the way that sounded. That was the most frustrating thing for me ever because I knew that that's, I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to look like that. I knew that I, I, that I could be, I could look differently. Mm-hmm. Up until the age of 12, I was always a very athletic, uh, athletic person, tomboy, athlete. I mean, boom. And then, you know, look at Throw in a little um, uh, 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 a puberty along with family dynamics, and that could be the making of you know some very interesting uh, a very interesting journey through through your life. Yeah. So but you're saying uh, okay, yeah. that's a lot. That's how much I want to lose actually. Ah, but, uh, oh, cool. Uh, and again, I don't want to lose forty pounds to be skinny. Like I never want to be skinny ever, because then my head would be too big for my body. So we can't have that, <laughs> but you don't lose weight in your head, you know what I mean? But uh, so, no, I've always wanted to, I just want to be healthy. That's all. So just that's, healthy. That's but, um, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I have so many questions, but we yeah. don't have time because Instagram yeah. only lets me post a 15 minute video. But uh, okay. Better, what a nerve. A nerve. I know. Of- okay. Nice. Well, okay. So let's, let, let's get into it and then we'll, because we only have another like five minutes now. So let's get okay. into the first week's coaching. Great. Uh-huh. Great. So but, uh, and I'll ask questions in. in uh, cool. In what, what I usually do is 12 weeks, but we, okay. we, we can do everything in 10 weeks. It's totally fine. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, the, one of the most, um, 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 the question that I get asked all the time is just tell me what to eat. Mm. And I'm going to say this, I'll go out there and say this weight loss mm-hmm. has almost nothing to do with what you eat. Okay. Weight loss has more to do with who you are when you're eating. Oh. Yeah. Explain. You're going to go, you're going to um, elaborate. Well, I can explain. I'm going to, I'm going to give you the short version. Okay. Uh-huh. So you could be the healthiest eater, 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 um, I'll try to help those that don't understand Boston. <laughs> so, so a lot of people say I eat healthy. I eat all the right foods. I just do all the right things. I can't lose weight. Mm-hmm. And that's because they, their body is in lots of stress, right? Hmm. They, they, they eat on the fly. They're worried about the bills. They have a stressful job. Their kids are waiting for dinner. They have to do all these things. They're, they're, they're being, they're in a high level of stress and they're 
trying to eat good food that's supposed to nourish them, but they're not letting the body really kind of take that food and digest it properly in a relaxed in a relaxed mode. One mm -hmm. of the best ways to lose weight is uh, to learn how to relax. Hmm. And so as a coach, one of my biggest goals, my job, and my only job really, is to show you, to help you uh, um, lower your stress level. Hmm, interesting. Yes, yes. and we, wow. so we'll talk about certain things that nobody ever gets, uh, nobody is privy to in the diet world. And when I say diet world, I mean the diet mentality. Okay. Like, you know, um, like if you deprive yourself of A, B, and C, you're going to drop some pounds, right? Mm -hmm. But when you drop those pounds and then you go back to A, B, and C, because that's what you've been used to your whole life, you're going to gain the weight back, right? Okay. So we're going to just take a different approach to it and do things that really aren't so traditional. Okay. Right? That sounds like cool. my style. That's right, my cool. style, awesome. Susan. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. All right. Great. Okay. So all right, great. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about goals. And since we have limited time, mm -hmm. I'm just going to try to give you the condensed version. Okay. And um, when I tell people to, to, to talk about their goals, my first question I'll ask you, Lynn, is, um, what is since we're talking about weight loss, mm -hmm. what is it that you would like? Okay. okay. I would like to be healthy. Okay, that's great. I would like to be healthy. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and here's the thing about a goal. It needs to be attainable, right? Like, um, if, if it's, if it's a number that you want to reach, um, I would say like, you want to be able to have it in a, uh, in a short amount of time, a short, in, in, in a short, um, enough of a time where it's, um, you'll start to, uh, reap the goals you'll start to feel the success from it right mm -hmm. but you know but not you want it to um you don't want it to be um you know you want to you don't want to be unrealistic with it so right. let's say you want to lose 20 pounds you be, you don't you know don't tell me you want to do it in three years because that's <laughs> not going to challenge you right, right? Yeah. don't tell me that you need to do it for a wedding that you're going to in two weeks either right. because that's going to be completely unrealistic so you really want to just Find that sweet spot that challenges you, that gets you up out of bed to do it, okay? Mm -hmm. But, all right, um, the other thing is you don't want to, you want this to be your goal, your, your goal. In other words, well, since you're not married, <laughs> right? since you're not married, uh -huh. you don't have a significant other right now. Uh -huh. So people, when they make goals, they usually say, you know what, I want to do this, but I'm going for my husband to get on board. Right. I'm going to wait for this to occur in my life first before I do. Mm. I'm going to wait for that person to do this before I do something for myself. It has to be for you and you alone. Right. Like, but you, and you have a child that if the, he, your child could play into whether or not you start this goal or you follow through with this goal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are some of the, uh, the things, um, you want it. Um, you definitely want it to be, like achievable, like, like I said, like within the time frame, and, um, let's see here. Uh, and you want to have an, an emotional connection to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you want to find out, we want to talk, um, about like what's called the mofo. <laughs> M O F O M O F O okay. motivating factor. What uh... motivates you to want to be healthy? Right. What motivates you to want to lose weight? Okay. You know, if someone says to me, well, I just want to fit into those really cute jeans. Well, that might, that's good. But mm, you know what I'm saying? The chances of, of that keeping you motivated for the long term mm. is, pretty, is, is pretty slim. It's pretty slim. So we so we'll go over between now and next week some of those motivating factors mm -hmm. of what right and then we're going to do some anchoring we're going to do some anchoring in other words I want you to I want you to find things that are linked to that motivating factor right like let's say you want to be healthy why because you want to make sure that your son I'm speaking for you right now mm -hmm. I don't know if this is the truth but as an example mm -hmm. you you want to make sure that your son has a powerhouse mom. 
you know, someone yeah. that's going to take care of him and show him how to live life to his fullest, mm -hmm. right? That could be the mofo, the motivating factor. Mm -hmm. But what are you going to do to keep reminding yourself of that motivating factor? You want to find mm -hmm. what, what I like to call an anchor, an anchor. Some people will look at a picture and it'll be like, wow, that really motivates me. Some might go through a, a, a magazine and cut out a picture of, 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 a, of a, a, a female that you're like, wow, I really love her, her style and her vibe. I, I'd like to, that's kind of how I know I could look in a business suit or, mm. or how I would look at the gym or how I would, you know, what up? It could be really anything. So, mo oh, so anchors are anything that could be around your house that you could set up. Like it could be a picture that you could put if you spend a lot of time at your computer or in the kitchen. Put that picture there so you can see it. Subliminally, mm. it starts to really sink in, and then you know you look at it and you feel it, and you mm. want to be able to get that emotional attachment. Because if there's no emotional attachment to what you do in life you know you're, it's not going to last. Mm. So that in short is really, or actually not even in short, but that is really how to start to build a goal. So that's the, that this, so for this week, it's those three things. That's what we're those, focused on. Yep, it's going to be those three, uh, those three things. Yeah. And this way you can put some thought into it. And, and, and I want, there's going to be a question that I want to, um, that I'll ask you. Yeah. And that is when, when you've come up with that motivating factor, I want you to ask this question seven times. And the question is, why? Why is that the motivating factor? And then you'll come up with an answer. And then when you get that answer, I want you to ask yourself, why is that? Why? Like, I want to be healthy. Why? Well, I want to make sure my son has a healthy mom. Why? <laughs> well, because if I'm healthy, he'll see good examples of what it is to be healthy. Well, why? Why is that important to you? I want you to take why seven levels mm. deep, right? Seven, I want you to keep drilling until you get so emotional that it's, 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 you, you cry. I cry a lot already. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> well, there you go. Wow, that's, that's cool. That's, okay, okay. Yeah, all right. So that that makes sense. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, I have questions. Sure. Okay, so, so that's the homework. So number one is goals, yeah. right? So make it yeah. realistic, make it lasting, make it, uh, you know, some, it, make it realistic, but yeah. also challenging, okay? That's right. And something lasting. Uh, make sure you do it for you, Yeah. right? Make sure I'm doing it for myself, ultimately, that's right. that's not right. for anybody else. I don't have a problem with that. I'm selfish. It's fine. That's number awesome. two. And that's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. So MOFO is motivating factor. Yeah. What's the motivating factor and make sure it's long term. It's not some, oh, I just want to fit into my jeans. It's that's fine too, but make sure it's a lifestyle right. change. Okay. Right, right, um, right, right. Number three, I, one number three is what keeps you motivated and have an emotional attachment to it, which I love so much. Emotional attachment. Yeah. Love it. Okay. And yeah. then this is my probably my favorite part my most favorite part is ask why. Yes. Seven levels deep. Drill, baby. So Drill keep, that why. And you know what? Listen, this is it, it, just be shamelessly honest with yourself. <laughs> shamelessly honest. That's my thing. You just gotta, you just gotta be shamelessly honest with yourself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know? Yeah. I, I like yeah. that. Exactly. It's okay. It'll be okay. It's fine. You'll get, you're right. You'll get through it. It's, it's, it's great. It's good. It's a good place to be. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's the thing. Okay. So I just want to ask one more, one more thing. The thing sure. where you say, um, it's not about what you eat. It's about how you feel while you're eating or how you feel about what you're eating yeah it's not what you eat even mm -hmm. though that has a lot right, it, right okay i'll be like donuts yeah. i feel i feel great well listen <laughs> here's the example let's say let's say you learn some techniques that we can that we can learn together let's say you learn some techniques and you and you know how to relax now I, i'm huh. i'm really skipping ahead anybody okay you know, your audience that's watching this would be like, you know, oh, I want to, you know, what, what does this mean? Right. I'm, I'm kind of just. Okay. Bre you are just healthier. Breathing. You are, you, even though you're eating donuts, right? I don't recommend. <laughs> this. 
But even though you're eating donuts, when you're in a relaxed state, chances are your body's going to be able to process it a little bit easier than the person that's woofing down um, a healthy, healthy salad, but in high stress, right? Most people eat when they're like the fight and flight mode, right? Mm -hmm. They're like always on the fly. They're always doing this. Even if they're not physically moving, their brain is like in a million places, except for, look at my beautiful sandwich. Let me sit down and enjoy it. Uh, we're going to do things with chewing, right? We're going to do things with some other senses, uh, some other senses. Um, and it's going to be, it'll be fun. It'll be different. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, wow. It's cool. Oh, and that, and that is coming in the weeks to come. That's coming. The weeks to come. Ah, yes. man, yes. that's crazy. Yeah. Next no. week when we yeah. meet up, I want you to be prepared with, um, something that we can eat together. It can be maybe an apple, which is always a good choice for this, for this little thing that we're going to be doing. Yeah. It's going to be kind of cool. Um, I'm going to, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to re, um, reintroduce you to um chewing and why we chew and and uh how important it is uh and how getting emotionally connected with that is going to help weight loss and digestion and helping with stress see my goal my one and only goal is just to relieve stress in my clients <laughs> that's the biggest thing and that's everything thing. that's and everything that we do always comes back to the opportunity for the, for you to experience less less stress as a result of these techniques i love it man this is cool you know what i think I, we went way over time so i think i'm just gonna have to post this part on youtube so i'll post okay. some of it on igtv and then they'll just have to watch the rest on youtube Okay. It's been working. It's fine. It works because this is valuable information. Like, I don't even know how we're going to cut this to five minutes every, every, yeah. you can't do that. That's, I don't, I think it's just going to have to link to YouTube. Are we still rolling? Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. This cool. Is <laughs> cool. You're like, well, what? you know, and, and, and one of the beauties of, um, getting, being in a certain place, uh, with health and wellness, when you get a handle on it mm -hmm. and you no longer have to be struggling, although it, it is, it is a, um, it's something that I work on all the time, but it's so much easier right now is that I too am a, I'm human, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Health and wellness coaches, we're all made of the same thing as, as everybody else. I like to have my vino. I like to ha eat pizza, right? Um, I like to, you know, have a, a, a martini. Uh, so these are all the the things that I look forward to doing when I'm in the mood. Mm. I no longer, I never say, should I, shouldn't I? Should I have that? Oh man, I'm going to blow the whole diet if I have that, but I mm. want to no, don't, don't. So what happens is, um, what happens is the more we fight it, we're going to, we're going to end up caving and we're going to eat it. Right. Uh, and then when we eat it, we're going to struggle. We're going to beat ourselves up for being so bad. And huh. it's going to be this, right. A lot of people will just keep eating because they already blew it. So they're going to like, might as well just keep, might as well just finish the rest of those Oreo cookies. Yeah. Right. The, how I look at food now is if I want something, what I do is I invite myself I give myself permission to have it. I have it. I enjoy it. And that's all I needed was that taste. And it's, it's really amazing mm. how that transformative shift gradually, eventually takes, takes shape in, into your life. I think I understand because that's how I am with, uh, when I, I used to beat myself up for being like a bad mom. Yeah. Now yeah. when I'm a bad mom, I'm just one with it. <laughs> now I'm like it's fine 
<laughs> it's fine. I love it. I love oh all of it. I love awesome. it. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. But then you know, but you know yeah. what? Nobody's a good mom all the time. Kind of like you're not a health coach all the time. You're gonna have you want your wine. You want right. You want right. your donut. You want your Oreo. That's right. Yeah. I strive. I strive for imperfection. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seriously. You. But you know what? Another thing. Another thing that came up for me, and I'm sure it might come up for other people, is that when you were talking about all that. I caught myself going, wait, but I'm a single mother. How am I supposed to relax and eat when yeah. nobody else has helped? Nobody's doing the laundry. Nobody's doing the, I'm doing everything. Yeah. And then I caught myself coaching myself. Yeah. And I was like, Lynn, shut the fuck up. Because when you, when some, when you really want to do something, you just make it happen. Despite True. the circumstances, you figure it out, True. you know? Yeah. Yeah. And what you find in transformative coaching, transformational coaching, is um, how you live your how you live your life in in one area. There, chances are you're living the same way in all other areas. So once you start fixing and mending one area, it is your 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 view, your perception. Um, of your life starts to slightly and slowly change. And so you will start to find that you will find that time to relax because maybe you've handled your calendar a little bit differently. Right. And that laundry isn't looming or it is, but you're going to take care of it at seven versus at five when you're trying to eat you know what i'm saying so you start to put things in their proper perspective based on priority based on what's the most important thing for you yeah. in, in your day in your yeah. week and in your life yeah which i'm jumping ahead a little bit that's fine but first we're going to start to learn how right. to chew and then <laughs> the whole world will be will be so much better okay so this week though and from to now until next friday or yeah. next wednesday yeah. i'm going to eat whatever i want i just eat whatever i want but be mindful of how i'm feeling when i eat it yeah you don't even okay. have to even worry about that i just want don't to worry start. about anything yeah don't as a matter of fact i will give you let me see here i don't know if i can oh exit full screen okay cool because you know what uh, you know what i'm gonna invite anybody who's watching yeah. You know, anyone who's watching the show, if you want to do this with me, you know, yeah. you have Susan here who's going to coach me. So you might as well just take these tips and apply it to your life as I do it. And we can just all do it together because um, Susan, if, but if you want like a legitimate, like 12 weeks or more coaching, tell people how they can contact you, Susan. How do oh, they contact uh, you? So can you, uh, can you put my... I'm going to do uh, it later yeah. when I, when I edit it. Oh, beautiful. So I just, should I, you, I'll just tell just you. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. So, um, health coach, Susan W mm -hmm. at gmail.com. Uh, you can catch me on Facebook. <laughs> I, you know, that's all I can tell you about. I ain't tech savvy. So <laughs> you can find me on Facebook and my Instagram is Suze S O O Z dot wolf. Okay. And that wolf is with an E at the end. W-O-L-F-E. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, awesome. And you know what? You can discuss this with Susan yourself, but if you like her style, because uh, coaching is like finding your hair stylist and finding your massage therapist is the same thing. You got to like mesh, you know? So if you like Susan's style and you want to contact her to be your health coach, um, maybe she'll hook you up because you watched the late night mom show and yeah, you know, we're That's cool, cool like that. And so. I'll, I, I'll give everybody and anybody from this, um, just a complimentary discovery session and then they can see if they, if we're a good, a good fit, you know, if right. uh, they like me and I like them. Right. Right. Yeah. Which is great because yeah. you know, she's for you, she's there for you. Like you're, you're going to work together. It's not just no. you know so my last question is um i can still drink wine then that's that's the most important absolutely i want you to just live your life just worry about the goals mm -hmm. i am going to give you one extra action step for this week okay i want you to um find if you have any clutter in your life at all right i want you to maybe clear some of that clutter 
or start to recognize it. You mean like physically or emotionally? Oh, maybe even emotionally, but like a lot of people start with their desk. A lot of people start with, you know, their closet. A lot of people will go into the Tupperware and be like, well, I'm throwing that out. I don't have a cover for that. I don't need that. I don't need 35 forks. There's only two of us. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. What if I, okay. All right. All right. Cool. 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 We'll do that. Oh, I see one right now. I'm looking at the box toy, the t box of toys that doesn't need to be there. That's great, see? Yeah, and as far as food, just keep doing what you're doing, uh, work on the goals, clear the clutter, those will be your action steps, and then we'll, we'll uh, get back at it uh, next week. This is great, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> this is my carne asada burrito. I love you so much. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pet it. That's right, that's right, oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Stuff my face. That's right, just give yourself permission, relax, oh. yeah. Yeah, I love that, I love it. I'm looking forward to the future, you guys. Just do it with me, come on. We're all gonna do this together. I know. We're all gonna do it together, just do it, cool. take advantage. But um, cool. thank you, Susan, for being on the show. This is gonna be, yeah, we went overtime, so I don't know, this is probably just gonna have to be its own YouTube. You're probably gonna have your own segment on YouTube. <laughs> so everyone right. can go and follow. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank Are you going to drink your wine now or no? Yes, I sure am, Yay, Lynn. Thank you this so much. This is so helpful. This is so helpful. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. It is so helpful. Because I'm tired of people telling me that I have to freaking, you know, eat nothing. <laughs> yeah, no. No, because I, okay. listen, I'm the master. I am the master of diet, and I no, it's not true. Mm. It ain't true. Don't buy it anymore. Don't buy it. Get out of that ah. diet mentality, man. Uh-uh-uh. Get out Don't, of it, yeah. yeah. Get out of it. Just get do, out of it. I'll do help what you. works for you. Yeah, do what works That's for you. Right. Make sure you're happy throughout whatever you're doing. That's the most no, important yeah. part. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. if you have to deprive yourself to lose weight, it's not, it's not worth it. Mm. It's not worth it. Deprivation is old school nonsense. We're never going to get off the Zoom call because I, I can't stop you. talking to you. I can't stop. Because listen, it... I, what came into my mind was like that's just how it is with life like yeah if i'm depriving myself to be with you i'm not going to be with you you see this is why i'm single oh, yeah, <laughs> so maybe don't yeah. listen to me yeah <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> don't take dating yeah. advice from me but you know really like if i have to if i'm unhappy in whatever i'm doing why would i do it doesn't make any sense it won't last it, joy will there'll be no joy they'll be no. they, they won't have that that stuff that you really want you know yeah joy contentment yeah relaxation yeah. yeah and you know see susan is a type like you're you're so like comforting you know it's like talking to my sister mm. do you know what i mean you're like not, you're not really well sometimes your sister gets on your nerves but like talking to your best friend <laughs> talking to your best friend you know <laughs> thank you i feel the i feel the same way about you i do i do this time you get along good so I'm, i know i'm really, I'm really yeah. excited that you invited me on and um, I'm, I'm very passionate about, uh, about this and, yeah. uh, and, uh, yeah. So maybe I'll throw in a couple of jokes next week. I I'll know. I'm excited. Oh, you guys. So, okay. Catch Susan Wolf at, on her Instagram or her email. And thanks for watching the show. Susan, thank you. Tell everybody bye. We'll see you next thank, week. I will then. Thank you so see much. You next week. Bye, bye bye. See ya.